Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API Recommended Practice 578. In this lecture, we will discuss the positive material identification methodology and technology of API RP 578 Part 3. In this lecture, we will discuss the sub-clauses 6.7 Spectrometer technology Portable X-ray fluorescence Principle Radiation waves gamma ray or X -ray sources excite the materials and the material emits a different spectrum of radiation that can be analyzed. Results The results of this analysis can be reported in either of the following formats as a match, that is 316 stainless steel or 5 chromium, 1 half molybdenum steel and or each element present reported as a percentage that is iron equals 87.5% or iron equals 0.875 Surface preparation A small test area is prepared with a portable grinding disc 60 to 80 grit minimum zirconium aluminum oxide disposable abrasive disc to properly clean the sample location prior to analysis Limitation It is not possible to detect all elements, such as carbon and boron. Portable Optical Emission Spectrometry Principle An electric arc or laser striking the material causes a spectrum of light to be emitted from the tested material, and the light is analyzed. Types of devices Lightweight, portable, an operator evaluated device that can typically identify up to 16 elements, but depends upon operator evaluation of the light spectra field portable, laboratory grade analyzers. The significant advantage of these instruments is the expansion of elements that can be analyzed, including carbon. Laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy can provide both qualitative and quantitative information to determine which elements are present and in what quantity. Equipment calibration Persons performing PMI should calibrate and or verify the test equipment performance as specified by the equipment manufacturer. The PMI procedure should provide the frequency interval for this calibration verification. Include calibration verification using certified standards established by the owner user. If calibration procedures are not provided by the equipment manufacturer, Review questions. Question number one. How do portable X-ray fluorescence PMI tools work? Answer is A. Question number two. PMI tools that use X-ray fluorescence cannot detect. Answer is A. Question number three. Which of the following is true concerning performing PMI with X-ray fluorescence tools? Answer is B.
Question number four. How does portable optical emission spectrometry determine the elements in a material? Answer is B. Question number five. PMI testing equipment should be Answer is B. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching, and please waiting us for next lecture.